Welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Estela Casas. And I'm Rick Cabrera. As many of you know, the highway construction all across El Paso is making for some frustrating drives across the city. Especially in West El Paso, where two major projects are underway. One is adding frontage roads to I-10. The other, a brand new freeway connecting the border highway to I-10. But building the border expressway means clearing out everything along Paisano by the old Asarco site. Things like the old rescue mission, which for years housed some of El Paso's homeless population. So the shelter was moved to the south side of El Paso. The new rescue mission is at Lee McGoffin, Lee and McGoffin, about 10 blocks east of downtown El Paso. We sent ABC 7's Stephen Decatur to check it out. Tonight he's live to explain what the new location looks like and means for our city's homeless population. All is quiet at the rescue mission's new location behind me here, but I can tell you earlier today on the other side of this wall in the parking lot, it was packed as everybody was moving everything from the old location to the new location here. Now all those who call the rescue mission home are now here at the new location, and earlier today I was able to get a tour. This pool is right here. We're going to have our, our first service to give thanks for all this place uh, this afternoon at 3.30. It's move-in day at rescue mission. So we thought we'd be loading people up in our cars and in a van and carrying them over two or three at a time. Sun Metro stepped up and provided a bus to help everyone move in today. This is just magnificent what we've been able to do here. It's a lot bigger. Each dormitory room has 11 bunk beds. In total, there are 150 beds, a section for those who are disabled, separate quarters for men and women, and special medical rooms for those who were just discharged from the hospital. It was not this extraordinary. <laughs> when they walked in, they said, hey, I mean, are we in the right place? Yes, we are. Valdez is a caseworker with the mission, and he says the location will greatly benefit the homeless in El Paso. It's more accessible to the public, to the people that are in need. The old location was isolated and occasionally blocked by trains, making it unaccessible. The new location is located near a bus station and much easier to get to on foot. The old facility is set to be demolished to make way for the GO 10 project. And while the new facility looks impressive, there's still more to be done. The lot just to my left here is empty, and they plan to make this a homeless shelter for families. I'm Stephen Decatur, ABC 7. And an open house is planned for October 22nd, so you can come and see the new facilities firsthand.